Hello guys, welcome to another video. Uh, as you can see, it's um, a little bit of a different setup today. I'm obviously not on the bike. I've decided to uh, do a bit of a video for you guys because we have the first modification for the MT-09. It just arrived last week from the US, so I thought we'd uh, do a bit of a video of putting this stuff on. So. Um, as you can see, we have the braided brake line kit for the bike. This is a, a proper kit um, designed for the MT-09 by Spiga. Um, got it through Soltec Moto. Uh, see if we get some focusing on this. Focus. Focus. No, it's not going to do it. I haven't really used this camera for doing a video before. Hang on a minute. There you go. Look at that. Sexy. Beautiful kit. You can customize it with anything you want. Different colored lines, different colored banjo fittings. Um, I went with the plain braided lines with gold fittings to match the, the forks, hopefully. Uh, we also got some gold bolts, uh, speed bleeder valves, these will, I'll explain those a little bit later. Most people know what they are. Interesting little guys. Focus. Yeah, look at that. Um, yeah, so this is going to be sort of a, I don't know, a little bit of a guide. A little bit of a, you know, sort of a work log of what's going on with the bike. So as you can see, we're going to do the rear first. We've got this crappy rubber line from the factory. Horrible. Sure, it does the job, but not what I'm looking for. So, yeah, we'll uh, get started with this one. Um, if anyone who doesn't know the process for changing the brake lines, generally we want to drain the reservoir up here to start with so we don't make a mess everywhere. And then we're going to start by, um, so empty all that out, then we'll remove the fittings on both sides, remove the line, and we shall put on the new one. And for brake fluid, we are using Motol RBF 600. But nothing but the best. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this rear brake reservoir. Uh, so we're going to get this off so we can drain it. So I've got one bolt here for it. Just mount. It's in a pretty bad place to mount it, to be honest. But it's a eight mil bolt. Comically huge socket that I'm using to get this off. But that's what I've got, so we'll get that out. So we should be able to get that off. Take this off, that holds the lid on, so you do need to drop this out of the way to um, empty the thing or bleed it. So what we're going to do, because we're going to make a mess, so I'm just going to tuck some stuff under here. Try not to spill brake fluid everywhere. So what we're using here, it's got this like little syringe. Well, <laughs> large syringe, not little. Um, and we're gonna suck all the old fluid. When I say old, it's done 600 kilometers, but for the purposes of this, we are not going to use it anymore. We're going to change it all out for a nice fresh batch. Nissan uh, brake reservoir, very nice. It's nice to see they didn't cheap out on things. I was expecting some Taiwanese stuff on here, but... Now I'm hoping this actually does suck out, because I haven't really used a syringe before. Normally I use a squeezy bottle or something. And look at that. And that's what we want. So we're just going to... Get rid of all that. Nice and clean still, obviously. There's no crap in it. But the less that's in there, the better. Okay. Camera's repositioned. So, obviously the brake line has a mount on each end. Um, they are 6mm Allen key bolts. So, we're going to try and crack these suckers off. It's 
probably going to be a bit stiff. You've got to make sure you get these really deep in, otherwise you could end up shearing the head. Oh yeah, they're tight. Very tight. <laughs> So I'm going to tuck a rag in there because we are going to spill fluid here. But as long as you've got a rag at that ready, you should be okay. All right. Try not to get any brake fluid on your tires as well. It's not good. <laughs> All right, so we'll move to the front. We'll try and get all this off in one hit so we don't end up spilling fluid everywhere. This one's going to be tight as well. All right, I'll turn the camera a bit. All right, so here's the other end, same deal. Six mil bolt. Sit her in, nice and deep. Oh, yep. <laughs> don't know what torque rating these are on, but they're pretty damn tight. The new bolts are aluminium, not uh, whatever these are. Definitely not the same material, but yeah, you don't want to do the aluminium ones up tight because you'd shear the head straight off them if you're not careful. But you don't have to replace the bolts if you don't want to. I just wanted to color code everything. All right. And one of the washers actually let go on this one. So, they always have like a washer on each side to seal, crush washers. That one's stuck, so I won't bother with that one yet. Alright, so now we've got to free up the brake line. Now we should be able to just gently take this out without spilling it. Job done! Here's the two brake lines side by side. You can see old rubber, well, new rubber crappy line. Nice shiny braided line. Pretty. All right, let's get this mounted. So, let's get this new line mounted. Now, obviously, it only goes on one way because the banjo fittings are bent on a certain angle. And Speaker are kind enough to uh, actually label them for you. Rear master cylinder. Caliper. So that's just going to sit in there like that. Ran into a bit of a problem with the um, <laughs> the uh, alignment of the banjos. Now, as you can see, you've obviously got the banjos on each end, but they don't line up out of the box. So they what they do is they include a block that you're supposed to put in a vise to clamp it down, and then you put a like a little rod through here and then twist the entire fitting until you get it exactly where you want. Now, two problems that I had with that is I don't have a vise, not in the shed anyway. Um, that and I also wanted to do it on the bike without having to go back and forth all the time. So I basically just found some spare fittings and clamped it inside that so I could sit it on the bike like this and line it up exactly where it needed to be. And I think we've almost got it right now. All right, well, let's just, uh, we'll do a, a little bit of a test fit and we'll see what we end up with, I guess. We've got one of our nice, pretty gold bolts. Banjo, so, got that, put a washer on the top. We've got one that goes on the other side of the hose as well. So. Look at that. Finally got that in. Now we'll get it on the other side. I just gotta make sure I've got rid of all the glue. Okay, next thing we're going to do is get rid of this uh, bleed valve. So that's the exact size socket, 8mm. 
Same as the reservoir bolts. Right, rear brake line's finally done, it took forever. Um, just kept getting air out of the lines really. It was uh, a bit of a pain in the ass, but the, the lever is ridiculous now. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see what this is like in the real world, because I tell you what, there is nothing in that. I don't even know if the bloody uh, brake light's gonna come on. <laughs> Alrighty guys, it's getting dark, but I uh, thought I'd just show you the current progress. Focus, there you go. Alright, so I've got the two lines routed, more or less, up to the top, coming down. Oop, bit dark, hang on a sec. There you go. Look at that sexy shit. Coming down, coming down, coming down, got that side mounted. So I've gone for a parallel line kit, so it's two separate lines rather than that, the sort of piggyback that goes over the top of the front tire. Um, looking good. I don't think we're too far away. These lines are, um, ah, there we go, exposure, better. These lines are not in the correct place again so I'm gonna to have to clamp these and twist them to mount you know in their new home <sighs> back soon alrighty guys I just thought I'd give you another shot of my little jig that I made to adjust these banjos um, just a couple of bolts with some brackets and put that uh, little thing they give you in the middle and clamp it down and rotate the the fittings now <laughs> it says in the thing to use a vice doing this but there's no I wouldn't do it that way that's just stupid um, because you have to you'll, you'll do it once try it and then find out you didn't turn it far enough and you have to go back and do the whole thing again at least this way you don't have to take it all off the bike each time so as you can see all the lines are already routed and I'm just giving it a bit of a tweak and getting it right to be honest with you, I don't know why they couldn't do this when they made the lines. I mean, it can't be that hard to make a jig to line up the fittings correctly about where, you know, the correct angle they're supposed to sit on, but it's all right, we're almost there. Not far to go. got the front caliper, well the front left caliper bleeding finally. I had to use a syringe to generate some suction and basically pull the brake fluid through the um, caliper and everything. It was a bit odd. Um, but as you can see now, we're pumping. Alrighty guys, we are done. She's all back together. I'm just leaving it overnight now just to bleed out the master cylinder. Um, some few people recommended that on the forum, so I thought we'd give that a go. But uh, brake feel is very good already. Nothing to uh, really worry about by the looks of it. There's no air coming out now. Um, so yes, here's the lovely gold fittings. Look at that. Sexy. So. As you can see, it still uses the standard routing, goes up under the headlight, comes up, and it has a double fitting. This is the parallel kit, as I said earlier. Goes all the way down. Beautiful. There is brake fluid everywhere because the syringe decided to explode on me while I was trying to pull a vacuum and yeah, it made a, a hell of a mess. Um, 
Volkers. There you go. Rear brake line. Nice. Nothing like some gold. So yeah, we'll probably give it a run tomorrow. I'll, I'll add on a little bit more video. Oh, this is my life. Waiting for this shit. Why would you do this in the middle of a fucking day? So, we're finally all done. Uh, just gave the bike a bit of a clean up as well, took it for a test ride, checked everything out. All is well. So, I tried to do a bit of a video while I was on the road, but I've lost my little fluffy giblet on the end of my microphone and the wind noise was just ridiculous. So, I have to go replace that. But. I'll just have to live with this camera, even though the video quality is a lot better. Um, overall, the lever feel is a little bit firmer. There's still a bit of travel in the actual lever itself. I would have preferred a little bit less than that because the Triumph Street Triple R was just like, mit, 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 there's nothing in it. But once you hit it, it's very firm. So I might leave it, let it bleed a little bit longer and see if it improves at all. Um, other than that, it's really good. Everything's fine. Uh, anyone ever wonder what it's like underneath the seat? That's where your wallet goes. <laughs> One other thing I just wanted to mention in the video, guys. Uh, I just had a look on... YouTube and I noticed that I've reached 100 subscribers and I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who's watching my channel. Um, I'm, obviously I'm still finding my way, trying to get my YouTube mojo and uh, you know trying to work out the best way to do my videos of course. But it's um, yeah it, I'm having a blast doing doing all these videos and it's nice to know that there's an audience out there. I'm starting to get an audience that appreciate the, the videos I put up. I think the MTO 9 has been the biggest driver for it so far. Everyone's loving this bike and wants to see more about it. Um, if you guys have any questions at all about this bike, anything you want to ask, okay, this is kind of an old answer coming from an owner's perspective, not a reviewer, uh, which is pretty unique these days. Not many people talk about it like that um, yeah so post any questions you have and I will cover them all in the 1000 kilometer review video um, yeah so uh, once again thanks everyone and here's to a thousand more subscribers see you next time